Hey, how you doing? Robert King, founder of Harmony Homes Residential Assistant Living Facility and founder of ALU Assistant Living University, which is one of America's premier training courses designed to help you do three things, open, own, and operate a successful assistant living facility. And today in the vault, I wanna talk about uh, property management. Uh, that question comes up a lot. You know, who, who handles the property? Well, if you're the owner of the home, and or even if you're renting the home and you're running a business in the home, you're ultimately responsible for maintaining the home. Well, you, you shouldn't be putting that task on your caregivers because their responsibility is take care of the residents. That's what they're there for, to take care of the residents. So you wanna make sure that you keep them busy doing that and you make sure that the property is maintained. Well, uh, I personally, uh, in my facility at Harmony Homes, I don't cut grass. I hire somebody to come on a regular basis every 10 days, seven to 10 days and cut my grass. Uh, landscaping externally is absolutely vital. Uh, people are going to do a drive by potentially who wants to bring their mom into your facility and they want to see what it looks like. So you got to make sure that your landscape is very, very well maintained. Doesn't have to be very expensive, just a mulch from your local uh, store, but it needs to look good and it needs to be clean and uh, presentable at all times. Uh, you may want to invest in a power washer and keep your sidewalk nice and fresh and clean in your driveway. Uh, you want to make sure that uh, the property itself and the inside is clean. Now your caregivers do take care of the cleaning of the inside of the facility, uh, of the home facility, but maintenance, that's something that you're responsible for. I have a home maintenance uh, uh, program so that if I have any of uh, my appliances or things major like that break, I just give a call to them and then 24, yeah, 24 hours normally, somebody is out to repair those things. Uh, plumbing, same scenario. I have somebody on call and even I have an issue, doesn't matter, 24 seven, middle of the night, uh, they can get out there and get it done. Uh, I have a carpenter that I've been working with for about six, seven years on other projects who handle anything for me that I may need. So you're gonna have a team in place that's gonna help you do that. Now listen, don't panic. If you're just getting started, you're gonna be that team. You're gonna be the individual that handled all those things, you know, the small repairs, but if the repairs get larger, then you have to call on somebody to do those things for you. But just think about it. Your house is not gonna be tore up. I mean, there's probably more damage that's gonna be done in your house with a couple kids and you growing in it than with the elderly. The elderly don't move a lot. They don't tear up stuff a lot. They don't, they're not very mobile. So they're not gonna be really tearing things up. So you have to just maintain your AC units, maintain your heating units, make sure that everything is flowing just like you would a typical home. Uh, but one of the most important things is it has to look good and hear me, hear me very clearly, hear me very clearly, it has to smell good. Your facility cannot smell like a facility. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Your facility cannot smell like a facility. It has to always smell good, uh, has to always be clean, has to always be presentable. Uh, residents, family members will come visit pretty much anytime. We have an open, open plan. They can come visit anytime they want. Don't have to call and schedule. Uh, mom and dad is gonna always be dressed and looking good. The room is always gonna be clean. The bed's always gonna be made. Uh, so, you know, we wanna make sure that you understand that ultimately you're responsible for it, but that what makes your facility different. There's a lot of different tips and, and techniques to make your house smell good. Uh, one of my caregivers is from the islands and she likes to uh, boil water and put some kind of uh, sump down in the water and it, it simmers in the house. And Oh my God, I can always tell when she's at work because when you walk in the door, you can smell it. The house smells like a, a Jamaican breeze and oh my God, that's lovely. And so of course when they cook, you know, now you got the house smelling like food that's, that's really cooking and smelling good. So uh, you're responsible for the maintenance. You're responsible for making sure your house always looks good, smells good and presents itself well. And you can do that with a team or you can do that yourself. And uh, I hope that helped you today. I look forward to giving you more information later. God bless.